Prussia, what a beautiful place. With a militaristic culture that is definitely not gonna come to bite us back in VS in around 100 years from now on. I never really played Prussia that much in Victoria 3, despite, you know, me being German. But today we're gonna solve this around and we're gonna create the biggest Germany and the best Germany the world has ever seen. And for that we first need to kill Denmark, old German tradition. Only issue is there's a bit of water in the way so we will have to get a friend who will let us go across that territory. Hey there Mecklenburg, do you wanna be my friend? Yes you do. And now time to go in on Denmark. Oh, uh, never mind, they're not willing to help us. Why did I ally you? And the UK just joined. Fantastic. I guess we will have to build up a navy that will take a bit though. This is really not how I imagined it would go, but I guess this is what it is. Good luck trying to land here, Mr. UK. Now they are offering us to white piece already though, but uh, I'm not gonna do this. I put too much into this. I'm a man of a sunk cost fallacy. UK is out, only Denmark to go. Never mind, I don't need to land on them. They're willing to give me Schleswig Holstein for free. <laughs> Now we just need to wait for everyone to research nationalism, you know, very cool idea, and then we can unify Germany, well, at least Northern Germany. I'm using my favorite thing in Victoria 3, deficit spending. Usually it goes backwards and I go into enormous amounts of debts, but this time it will be fine. The other German states will pay for it. And I'm using it to build universities because I'm a smart person. And I'm putting these universities to work towards finding something that will kill Austrians. And also the French, but we will get to that. Ah, German national identity. We now need to beat up Austrians. Let's see how that works out. Oh, we can get France in. What do they want to join? They want the Rhineland. Yeah, let's not for now. Ah. That is an issue. Did a tactical reload and you know what? Yes, you can have a Rhineland. I will take it back anyway. But in exchange, oh Austria, you will give up some territory. Oh, now I didn't get the Austrian territory. We're gonna wait until this is done and then we're gonna go take the Rhineland back. And also Slovene. We're speed running this Germany thing. We have discovered bigger Kaboom. Those universities I built are really helping with it, but they're very expensive. Alright, time to go in on the French. Everyone to the border. We're gonna have a big Kaboom over here. I hope you're all very excited. First battle and poor visibility and they have good visibility. The luck is really on my side today. Hey, at least the casualties are in my favor. I'm just gonna be on the defensive for some time and hope I can eventually beat down the French army once it's exhausted. I really like being in the defensive. I think this suits me for now. France is offering a white piece, but as Denmark, I am very persistent. I decided to go on the offensive and goddammit, it is working after killing like 200,000 French people. We have been at war for five years and no one really had any advances. I have a new solution though. Conscripts. I'm conscripting the entire nation. Only 800,000 people died in total. We can up that. Yeah, my population has been in decline now. <laughs> we own the Rhineland. Now we only need to conquer all this Lorraine. Only 1.5 billion people dead. It's completely fine. People are starting to rebel in my country. Please, we need to finish this. Please. Yes. Yes. I did it. I did it. <laughs> this has been so painful. Oh, and we're going to a revolution, of course. <laughs> This was not worth it. This was extremely ineffective. I am super behind economy wise uh, and my standard of living is also garbage. So how can we fix this? I have an idea. Knock knock Austria. No, <laughs> not again. Germans, you know how we have been fighting for the last six years? Well, we're going back, baby. I had a skill issue and didn't assign a general to my army on France, so we're gonna get pushed back. I've been pumping my entire research into the army. I pumped nothing into economy and I went only nationalism here. I, I am literally just role-playing as an extreme Prussia. I shouldn't have added war reps to the French. Without them, they would have ticked below zero war support and would have been pieced out. This was a mistake. I hate myself. But don't worry, we haven't conscripted the South Germans yet. They can also die. You know, we don't want to discriminate against one of the Germans. The French really didn't learn their lesson. They keep trying to white piece me and it didn't work in the last war. Why would it work now? I expect you to surrender right here. In fact, I'm researching the enlistment office so I can conscript more people to throw into the meat grinder. Yeah, just don't ask how we're gonna pay them because I don't know myself. I'm actually gonna white piece. <laughs> it has been getting too bad. My population has been in free fall. Let's recover for a bit and pay off this giant amount of debt we got. I have an idea how I'm gonna fix the economy. Look at Belgium's GDP. That is juicy. And look at how little divisions they have. This is gonna be a cakewalk. Of course, uh, what, what, have, what have been too kind to just let me have some fun in life? Oh, the Russians also joined. Oh my god. 
I was hoping the Ottomans would hold on for a bit longer, so I can, you know, not have the entire Russian army up my ass. But no, the Ottomans are not gonna hold on for longer. But I learned my lesson, I didn't add any war goals against the UK and Russia, so as soon as they get some casualties, they will be pieced out. Even the AI is now building ammunition plants. <laughs> the reason why that probably is the case is because the only demand for anything is coming from the military, because the private sector is dead. Literally, everyone who was in the private sector is dead. Alright, Russia is peace out. Wait, why are we slowly capitulating? They didn't achieve their war goal yet. They didn't push into me, what? I love this game. I should have won that war. There was no reason why I should be peaced out. Well, another half a million people dead for no reason. What can I say? Just a casual afternoon in Germany. When I look at my GDP, around 25% is made up by the arms industry. <laughs> I just got stalled. The chance that I get stalled on this event is 1%. There's also not a single person in the world who likes me. <laughs> Everyone hates me. I'm gonna do one final war before we leave this. And I wanna have it against everyone here in Europe. So I'm gonna go over the 100 infamy so that will all declare war on me. We're now at 242 infamy. Time to wait for everyone to try to beat my ass. You see, uh, if you're on this side of the screen, they're leaning towards France. You can see no one is on my side of the screen. As long as Austria and the UK stay out, I might be able to actually win this. I'm gonna try to stay completely on the defensive until Russia etc are pieced out. Also, uh, everyone is embargoing me. <laughs> the British are also coming in. I could theoretically somehow get the French in, but my relationship with them is too low. Also, oh my god, Austria! <laughs> And the US joined this war against me now. I'm officially at war with every major in the world. But hey, my economy is actually growing. Somehow. I have no clue how. But so far, it's kind of stable. The Russian front is really good. The French front has not moved at all. So I'm just waiting until Russia gets pieced out. Out of both wars, by the way, because they joined both against me. You know, during World War II, Germany at least had some allies. I'm doing this all on my own. Large amounts of franco provencal people? Who are those? Anyway, they're coming to Silesia. You can be thrown into the meat grinder. Oh, look at the migration, yes. Alright, the Ottomans are also out of a war. I hope Spain soon follows. And then, when I white piece for UK, it's only me versus France, which I will easily win. One million dead between me and France, by the way, again. Not including the Russian troops that were killed in this war, because they are already pieced out. And in the other war, holy are these casualties in my favor. What the hell have I been doing? <laughs> Austria is exploding again, this time it's Italy. I would love to screw over Austria by joining against them, but uh, I have some bigger fish to fry right now. Yes, automatic machine guns. Put them into the army. And the UK is willing to wipe his. Let's go. Alright everyone, full attack on France. Ah, look at the machine guns doing their work. Now, are these new machine guns expensive? Yes. Yes, they are. And if we don't end this war, I will end in bankruptcy. I think this one is gonna be a new record though. I'm easily gonna surpass 1.5 million dead on each side. I'm proud to announce the military industrial sector makes around 40% of GDP now. Oh, and revolution, they want voting rights. I'm sorry, but you can get conscription rights. How about that? Come on, just a bit longer. We soon are in Paris. Look, we can see the city. Just a bit more, guys. Oh no, oh no, there it begins. Okay, this is the last chance. We need to win the battle. If we win it, it should go through. <gasps> yes! Yeah. <laughs> I really created the most militaristic pressure this. This is not the way you should play it, though. This is pain. I hope you enjoyed it. Have a good day.